Will Hargrove, uh, Head of Fine Wine at Corny and Barrow, and we are at the Corny and Barrow Annual Burgundy Tasting 2012 Vintage. Uh, and I'm joined by Francois Labbé of Chateau de la Tour Clos Vougeot and uh, Domaine, uh, Domaine Pierre Labbé uh, Wines as well. So, Francois, 2012. A lot of talk about 2012 being small. Mm. What else can you tell us? Well, yes, small indeed, but um, uh, if I could um, uh, produce 2012 every year, I would be very happy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, in fact, um, very ripe fruits, yeah. uh, which uh, have allowed us, after strong sorting as usual, to make um, very, very sappy, very gusty wines, you know, okay. uh, with, a, with a great potential of aging, yeah. but, but at the same time, um, quite approachable young, of course, yeah. uh, Chateau de la Tour, to put aside for a while, uh, you know, Grand Cru yeah. is uh, it's not to drink today, but uh, from the, for the Pierre Labbé wines, for the, from the Bourgogne yeah. Pinot Noir up to, uh, to the Gevray Chambertin, yeah. potentially uh, one year after one year, uh, okay. no, no, no cellaring problem, yeah. but um, um, very, very approach, uh, approachable wines, yes, indeed. And when you talk about cellarage for the Clos Vougeot, would you, when would you start, if you, if you were a customer who owned a case of 2012, when might you first have a look at opening a bottle? I would say um, five to six years. Okay. Knowing, yeah. knowing that uh, 100 years uh, is, is, is not in, may not be enough. You know, we just okay. finished a, a very interesting tasting where we tasted 1885. Okay. To 2010, and the 1885 was amazingly young. So our customers are buying for their grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> but but okay. And with with the other wines, uh, the Domaine Pierre Labbé wines, you as a few producers here do make both red and white. Yes. Now, people like to make things simple and tend to think of vintages as being better for white or for red. H how were the two different in 2012? So 2012 is is one of the few vintages where. Uh, the, 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 the quality for the two colors is equal, which means okay. we did extremely good white, extremely good red. Yeah. Um, this is potentially due to, uh, to the change in weather we have, okay. you know, which uh, allow us to harvest, yeah. as I said earlier, uh, ripe okay. fruits. Okay. Um, the choices uh, from the grower's point or the vin and the vintner's point, yeah. when to pick, just before the overripeness comes, yeah. Yeah. and then we have, uh, in all the wines, a very good balance between yeah. fruit, yeah. Uh, acids, yeah. and tannins. Tannins um, um, build the wine. Yeah. You know, the minerality gives yeah. the peps of the wine, and the yeah. fruit is the flesh of the wine. Okay. So uh, there's, there will be. Only good surprises with 2012. Okay, good, good. So you're very happy with it. <laughs> I'm very now, happy. Looking at more recent vintages, which for, for Chateau de la Tour, uh, but then also for, say, uh, a, a one white and one red uh, from, from Pierre Labbé, where, which vintages would you look, be starting to look to, to drink now? Uh, for Chateau de la Tour, certainly, if your customers are lucky enough to have a, a vintage like 2002, yeah. uh, br brilliant. Uh, 2005 is f absolutely to keep aside, okay. yeah. and then 2007 is is yeah. popping out and uh, yeah. and yeah. and is extremely extremely very pure. delicate, yeah. very pure, very delicate. 08 is to forget, 09 is to forget. Those those vintages having uh, uh, having a nice future ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 2010 obviously yes is uh, is one of the greatest. Uh, and 2011 is to forget. For for the whites, uh, I would love uh, the the uh, 2010 yeah. today. Okay. Yes, they yeah. they are, they have um, um, they are a little advanced in terms of some of, of, of opening. Yeah. But the minerality and the and the fruits are, are there yeah. def definitely good as uh, aperitif or with yeah. food. And um, and for the reds, uh, 2009, 2009, okay. which is a which is a solid vintage. Yeah. Um, the, the, the strengths of the Gevray and the strengths of the bones are, are there and they are, they are ready uh, open, open. open. Yes, yes, indeed. Okay. So I, I can only say cheers to everyone. <laughs> Merci. Thank you, Will. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.